Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for United News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a video on the Czech Republic women's team having a successful, I believe it was their first Olympic tournament. If not, I think it was one of their first the announcers said. Again, I'm new to women's hockey, so I don't, one, um, remember all that stuff as much and know as much about it. Uh, because I just started recently watching over the COVID times and then especially over the Olympics. Um, <clears throat> but Czech Republic, they beat the host country, China, made an immediate impact, uh, beating them 3-1. to one. Uh, They also then, in their next game, took down Sweden, who obviously is a very good ranked team uh, in women's hockey. They're, they're, they're starting to falter. Actually, I shouldn't say very good ranked team. They're a solid ranked team. That, according to some of the articles I've read, which I'm not sure if they're overly negative, because again, I'm new to women's hockey, but they seem, they, they said they're starting to falter a bit, but I thought that they still played well in this tournament, Sweden. I did a reaction on the Sweden women's team um, already, excuse me, as I grab my uh, game notes on some stuff over here. If you want to go check that out on the women's Olympic hockey players, also please continue to subscribe up above or down below on the easy to use subscribe button or the easy to use widget up above at the end to help us get to 200 by the end. But let's continue. Czech Republic, impressive wins over Sweden, impressive wins over China to start. Then they hit a bump in the road against Denmark, who was in their first tournament, able to beat them. Just did a video reaction to Denmark's play in this overall tournament for the women's team from Denmark. If you want to check that out, check that out in the women's Olympic hockey players. That'll be linked at the end of this video. And then I can just link that video separate on the side. So that'll make it easier for you. But uh, they did have a bump in the road there. Then they hit the bump in the road, falling to Japan, um, who played good in this tournament. And then the United States beat them 4-1, to one, which there's no uh, issues with that. The U.S. is now in the uh, gold medal game. I don't think people are going to qualm over that whatsoever. But I would say overall grade, Czech Republic started really hot and then kind of fell off. So I would say since Denmark was able to beat them, I gave them a B in their tournament for uh, being in their first tournament and progressing and uh, doing better as time goes on and having a good competitive game against Sweden. Um, also, while they lost 3-1. Uh, I, I think the fact that the Czechs kind of trended the other direction. They fell to Japan um, after falling to Denmark. Then the United States, that, that one gets thrown out because that's expected. Um, I would have to give them a little bit lower. I would say they're in the C-plus to B-minus range compared to Denmark's B. Because Denmark was rated really as an under under underdog of underdogs, um, and they were able to come through. So I would say they're more C plus to B minus overall grade. They started off very impressive, uh, came in and played really well. And I actually no, they can't be in the C's. They're definitely a B minus grade, I would say, because they started off playing really well, and then started kind of tampering off in the end. We expect them to lose to America, obviously. They lost to Denmark, which is what bumped Denmark's grade up to a B instead of a B minus themselves. And then they uh, fall to Japan. So I would say that brings them down to a B minus and we'll keep Denmark as a B. If you want to check out the rest of what I thought about Denmark, check out that video that's going to be linked at the bottom here at the end. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.